Sam FW, the Samsung firmware, is a tool used for resetting Samsung devices back to original factory settings. It can also help us to remove FRP, the factory reset protection lock. And it's a very popular tool used to bypass FRP on Samsung devices. And so, our video today, I'm going to show you how to remove KG lock. And this method is assured to work 100%. So just kindly follow these simple steps. Sometimes factory resetting a Samsung device can solve a lot of software issues or return your device to its original states. And that's how you can do it safely and efficiently. Normally, a lot of mobile phones take a lot of time to reboot after a factory reset. But you can actually be past this setting by pressing the volume down button and the power button at the same time. Then the phone will restart automatically. And this will power on your phone faster than usual. This will save you about 10 minutes or 5 minutes or more. If you want to disable KG lock on your Samsung device, there are a few different methods you can try. However, to disable KG lock on the Samsung can be a little bit difficult or challenging. But you can learn how to disable the KG lock following these simple steps. The Samsung KG lock function is a security feature that prevents unauthorized users from, the res from resetting your phone to factory settings. However, if you need to disable it, there are several methods to do so. So let's begin with this video. First, once you're on the welcome screen, just set the phone normally. You need to connect the mobile phone to the network or a Wi-Fi network or any network that you are using. So as for me, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Then I'll just enter the password to the Wi-Fi. Then I'll connect the mobile phone to the Wi-Fi. Then all I need to do is I need to enable TalkBack. And how can I enable TalkBack? By pressing the volume up and the power button at the same time. Simultaneously, you will enable the TalkBack talk menu. Welcome to talk back. Then you to need to mark back. out H1 from the corner to the left, from the left corner to the upper corner. Then click on use open voice Google command. Assistant. Then you're going to say open Google Assistant. This will open the Google Assistant. Open and once YouTube. the Google Assistant is opened, just say open, open YouTube, YouTube or you can open Thanks. Chrome. This will open Chrome. Then you need to turn off this setting because it's a bit annoying. Talk back off. And the talkback is officially off. Then go to the profile menu icon on the top right hand corner. Then click on settings. Then go and click on about. Then click on Google privacy policy. Click on Google privacy policy. Then welcome to Chrome. You can agree and continue to the terms. I don't really need to create an account now, so I'll click on no thank you. Then I'll go to the search bar here and search apkpure.com. It's a free source. We need to download some applications from this site. And one of the applications we're going to install is the Nova Launcher. The Nova Launcher will help us access the phone halfway. Not fully, but partially. We can access the phone partially. So once you click on the download button, the, this it will ask you, you'll get a prompt message asking you if you really want to install this application. This file can harm your device. Do you want to keep the Launcher Nova? Just click on OK. This app is, harmful, is not harmful. Then click on install, but you need to allow from the settings source. Click on allow from this source to install unknown apps. Then all you need to do is install the Nova Launcher normally. 
I'll just wait for it to install then click on open and once you open this is how your mobile phone will look like so go to the phone and dial star hash zero star hash then the test mode menu will appear this is how the phone is unlocked but not fully so more steps are yet not more but actually a few are on are underway so make sure you're connected to a cable a working cable a fully working cable either a new cable or a fast cable a fast data cable then go back to this some fw tool then click on remove frp click on remove frp then go to emergency down del star hash zero star hash we have already done that you might get reading fail or maybe initial method one fail initial method two fail initial method three fail and then if you get a single okay it means adb is enabled usb debugging i mean then don't click on allow usb debugging just go ahead and close the tool completely just close the tool completely then go ahead to your pc and open cmd then click on run as admin click on yes to the prompt message and then cmd will run then go ahead and type adb then shell adb space shell then before you hit enter make sure you allow usb debugging always allow usb debugging then when you hit enter you'll get a shell saying a12s then hyphen no you'll get a shell then click on pm list packages this is going to list all the packages that are installed on your mobile phone so you actually need to uninstall only one package that is making our phone lock either way that supports a lock either either ending with a launcher which launches a certain lock or it's something associating with internet connectivity because what you need after paying for the device you need to connect to the to the internet to unlock right that is after paying you need to access to the internet so you're actually going to look for the package that requires internet connectivity wake up lock and also the locking system information and that's actually basically the system ui the kg client and also there's a bit more but actually to find the specific was a bit hard but i actually found this for the android 14 and above we'll find this later we'll actually know it's a total of 400 packages and it and it will be a bit hard to complete within a month it will it will take months so go ahead and type pm disable then hyphen user space user then type ahead user then space zero then space com dot android dot system ui com dot android dot system ui actually you are going to do all this process for free you are not going to pay anything not even a single cent not even a single penny this method is totally free then go ahead and just hit enter and you'll get saying package com.android.systemui new state disabled user then go ahead and type exit so that you actually realize the phone then type exit to exit the command prompt just click on exit to exit the command prompt then go to this tool named samsung tool by nk team you actually need to go back to the samsung tool by nk team then you'll get the logging information just down below the samsung nk team then just type the password that is provided there 
just type in the passcode then click on login click on login then click on ok then first thing you're going to do before the next step is kill update you need to kill any updates that might be received to this mobile phone either you can actually receive updates offline if you if there are more people around you using samsung galaxy phones so it's very important to dis to disable the update then go ahead and click on disable kg lock click on disable kg lock and then when the process is done you'll get this prompt message saying your device has been locked because device services was uninstalled without authorization contact your carrier for more information etc so don't panic don't do anything don't disconnect the phone from the pc go ahead to this tool back to the sam fw tool this is actually i guess the final step this is the final step that you're actually going to use then just go and click on yes then click on remove frp once you have clicked on remove frp you'll get this actually saying you'll get a lot of from messages it won't ask you anything because we actually had enabled usb debugging always we clicked on always allow so we are not we are not going to allow usb again you don't need to type star hash zero star hash again your phone will reboot automatically you'll wait you'll wait you'll wait and wait but not for a long time actually for a bit maybe let's say two minutes or three or maybe two depending on the speed of your phone the phone should be on by right now i guess it should stay starting android right now if i'm not wrong okay it's taking a lot longer than expected okay let's wait you just need to be patient <sighs> this is taking much longer than expected but it's actually normal you don't need to panic you don't need to worry here we are starting android and the phone should be on by now it should be fully unlocked then on the next video i'll show you how to install these applications step by step if you don't know how to i've actually made a video on how to install them the required application the required extra applications i've made them on my channel but if you want me to remake the video again i'll actually remake the video my name is Arnold and I wish you the very best. That's how you can actually unlock your phone easily. Please subscribe for more tutorials and, I'll, and I will always update you with daily amazing content. Maybe weekly if I won't be able to do it daily. But actually please subscribe 